Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get web page source with the help of Ruby NoCoGuery GM. So first thing, install NoCoGuery GM. Type in GM install NoCoGuery. Once you do that, you can execute the example in this video. Next thing, open one text editor. Save the file with name. Let's say demo.rb or any name of your choice. Now, type in require no kogiri after that also call for open dash uri okay and after that we will create one variable named doc and that will simply call our no kogiri gems html class and inside that we will call open method okay here i want to use simple website name as example.com and I'm going to read the HTML source of that page. Now, if we just try to put doc as is, then we won't be able to get the correct source. Okay, so it will just give us whatever that is visible on the web page. But if we want to get the HTML source, which is rendered by our browser, then we have to use put as then doc dot to underscore HTML okay when we use this code then website will be shown in HTML format which was rendered by our browser so no query just captures that and prints out on console you can get any web page for this example but do note that on Windows you will find scrolling limitation for that code if you are on Linux or apple terminal then you may not see that issue but on windows you will have trouble with scrolling all that source code on command prompt okay so that out of the way we will simply open our command prompt and go to the directory where i have ruby file okay then type in ruby demo.rb now i'm going to hit enter and it will go through the process of posting this html source on command prompt okay as you can see it printed out complete html content of that web page on my command prompt so this was short code so there is not much uh, let's say javascript or css in here so very small page that is printed on command prompt okay in case of google or wikipedia you will get a lot of html or within css to scroll through so this is the code for getting the source code of any web page using ruby nokogiri gem